This is Whiskey Wonder Woman, and in today's video, we're doing Russell's Reserve Single Rick House Camp Nelson F. Now, this is a really sought after bottle, and I have two, so we're going to open one. I got this one from the Bourbon Trail, and I was able to get a sign by Mr. Jimmy Russell. So, this is going into a personal collection, and this I got from the Virginia Drop. And they were both the same price, $300. Okay. So this bottle is actually the second release, um, but don't quote me, on the single Rick House bottles. Um, I believe last year they did Camp Nelson F. Um, no, Camp Nelson C. So uh, the C is the, the warehouse. And then uh, this one came from warehouse F. They said that it matured on floors four and five. So I'm thinking for that building or warehouse, that's their sweet spot. So uh, they didn't really say how old this bottle is. Um, I think it might be 15 years old, but I can't confirm. I should have asked them when I was getting a signature. I don't know why I didn't ask them, um, but they didn't put it on the bottle. So we're going to open it and find out what it tastes like. My thing about bourbon is like, how do you know you have a good bottle unless you try it? That's why you have to get two. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. There you go. Get a look of the pour. Look at that color. There's definitely some age in there. You could just tell. Wow. That is matured bourbon for sure it is fruity um it smells wow it smells really good it smells like dark cherries like that's my first note usually you get like oak and vanilla like no this is like super fruity like this was basking somewhere by a window in the sun in the summer I'm making that up. I'm just saying that it smells like super fruity and good and like, wow. It has a sweet fruit in it. It has both like a dark cherry and maybe like a light cherry and maybe like a hint of like a, a sweet apple. It has vanilla in it. It definitely reminds me of like apple juice. Raspberries. Wow, this is like really, really good. I thought I was gonna get like spices, like ginger, clove, cinnamon, and no, it is really sweet. I'm really excited to try this. Of course, I'm getting like my normal notes, like maybe like a little oak vanilla, caramel, but those are all on the lighter notes. That fruit, wow. It almost smells like a berry smoothie. This smells intoxicating. No! 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 Oh, God. The amount of bourbon that's being soaked up under under this unfinished table. I mean, this table's gonna end up smelling good, but wow. <laughs> okay, the table wanted the first four. My turn. Wow, okay. That is really smooth. Not a single burn at all. What What is the proof on this? I didn't even check. It's 117.6 proof. It is super smooth for 117 proof. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes very, um, what are these notes? Like old man notes? 
呃。Why is the ending very musky? It's very earthy at the end. <laughs> wow, that was a well-rounded uh, taste. Sweet at the beginning, super smooth, and at the end, um, it was musky. I can tell just off the nose that this bourbon is matured well. But then I could also tell at the finish that this is matured bourbon. Like the, the wood becomes really earthy and toned. And uh, this, I definitely get that. And there's also a musky note. And I think that old man taste, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's like cigars or tobacco. Like it definitely reminds me of like a man in a lounge having a cigar with like a glass of whiskey. This bottle had high expectations and I think in my opinion, and remember I'm a newbie, I think it exceeded my expectations because I thought it was going to be um, just oak, vanilla, cinnamon, caramel, that's it. But no, this was uh, sweet berries plum, cherries, uh, notes that are kind of um, sometimes hard to get in bourbon. And then it was super smooth, not a single burn at all. I mean, my throat is not dry. It's going down super smooth. My breath is still smelling a bit fruity, even though the finish has that old tobacco taste. I mean, it is this Rick House floor must be amazing. They did a great job taking a bunch of barrels from floors four and five and making this grand master blend that is out of this world. The price is $300. Would I suggest you go out there and buy this bottle for $300? Um, if you can get it for $300, and you really want a Jimmy Russell bottle, I would say yes, go for it. But if you're gonna pay secondary prices over 350, 400, um, man, that's a hard answer because this is a limited release bottle and um, limited as in the taste is not something you get and other bourbon bottles. I mean, this is the second year that the Russell Reserve has released this bottle. So they may be coming out with a third one this summer. So if you don't catch this bottle, maybe you can find the next bottle. And if you're in Kentucky, definitely stop by the gift shop because you might see Jimmy there and he will sign your bottle. Any bottle that you buy from the gift shop, he's going to sign it and he's really nice and friendly. And so that's my review. Let me know if you have this bottle and you've tried it or if you have it in your collection and you refuse to open it. That is my review. Cheers.